Hello, welcome to today's flow practice. I'm really happy that you're here. And my invitation to you today is, you know, pretty, pretty the same as, as always, is really to just be here to honor you. You know, honor where your body is and, and what it is that you need, right? Sometimes our mind likes to tell us what it is that we think we need or want, and then the body has uh, a different request. So if that comes up for you today, you know, really honor that and listen to it because at the end of the day, you really should just be celebrating the fact that you're here. There's a lot of competing priorities. I know it's very challenging, especially when you're at home. All these other little things can pull you away from actually rolling up the mat and pressing play. Play. So celebrate the fact that you're here, honor what you need from today's practice, and I hope that you enjoy. So if you have a couple of yoga blocks, that is fantastic. Grab those. And if you don't, that's okay. Grab some cushions or towels or blankets, whatever you can, and then a strap. So if you don't have that, then a belt will suffice just fine, or even a towel will work. So make sure those props are available to you at the back of the mat, and then let's begin this exploration of our our bodies and celebrate it as we move. So let's take our time, bring the feet to the top of the mat. You're gonna press down through your feet, reach your arms straight forward, lift up out of the waist. You're gonna slowly lower yourself down just one vertebra at a time. Making sure you're breathing as you do it. And then relax your arms down by your side. So let's bend into the knees and take a really wide stance with those legs and, and then let the knees just gently drop in. Take a breath in through the nose. And then a really big breath out through your mouth. One more time, breathe in. And breathe out. And then slowly and gently start to walk those feet together, grabbing a hold of those blocks, those supports. The closer you place them to your hips, the more supportive this will be. So I want this to be relaxing as you open your knees wide, find the appropriate spot for those props, and then bring your arms back to your side. Now, wiggle your shoulders directly into the mat so you feel comfortable here, and then just allow the muscles in your face to relax and soften. Now, bringing that breath in and out through the nose. And just noticing the natural qualities of the breath. As you pay attention to the qualities of the breath, your focus and attention starts to dive inward, letting go of everything going on outside of you. And really dedicating this time and this practice to focusing on what's going on within you. Not just physically, but emotionally, spiritually. And again, allowing yourself to focus on the breath so you can truly meet yourself where you are today on the mat as you are. Just committing to moving with what feels best for what you need today. Not letting the mind bully you into thinking that deeper is always better. And on the other side of that, also not allowing those perceived limitations we hold about ourselves and our abilities and our bodies to hold us back from what we're really capable of. Just anchoring in where you are and all of the strength that you already have. So allow for a moment every part of you to just continue to melt down into the mat and we'll take just three more breaths like this. Coming back to that intention of celebrating the fact that you're here taken this time to care and nourish for yourself, for your body, for your mind, for your heart. Take one more breath. And then 
And once you've exhaled out all the air, let's go ahead and slowly bring the knees back towards together, or together, you should say, and bring the feet hip width apart. So moving those blocks out of your way, you can take them off to the side, a little more towards the front of your mat, but you want them out of the way of that right knee. You're gonna reach your arms out. Now they can be straight out or like a cactus, and then you're gonna walk your feet a little bit wider again and let your knees drop over to the right. Now oh, just taking a breath here, and if that feels good, you're gonna take your time and hook your right heel on the outside of the left knee. And then once you relax into that, you're gonna take your time and from that position, you're gonna to start to extend your left arm really nice and straight. Right hand might even grab a hold of that left wrist and then you're just gonna breathe into the left side of your body from here. Doing your best to just keep that focus drawing in so helpful to just keep the eyes closed in these reclined positions. Allow yourself just two more breaths, really filling the left side of your body and then releasing a little bit of something as you exhale. One more here. And then you're gonna inhale slowly, release those hands back to that cactus, release the heel and bring the knees back to center. Taking a second here in the center. Just feel that difference and the knees over to the left side and then taking maybe the left heel to the outer edge of the right knee. It's not necessary. You listen to what feels good for you. Right arm is going to extend and then we'll go ahead and grab with that left hand and then just breathe into the right side of your body. Again, being kind and caring with that breath. We'll take one more here. And then slowly take your time and then release that left foot. Let's slowly bring the knees back to the center. And then what we're gonna do is you're gonna walk your feet a hips width apart. Now bring your arms down by your side and for a second here, I want you to just feel your shoulders melt down into the mat. What we're gonna do from this position is just warm up through that spine a little, warm up through that core as you inhale. We're gonna lift the hips, lift the arms, and reach the arms back. Exhale slowly, bringing everything back down to the mat. Inhale, peeling those hips up, arms are gonna reach back. Exhale slowly, coming back down. And just a couple more like this. So seeing if you can really connect the movement with the breath. Exhale, slowly coming back down. Two more, inhale, reaching up and back. Exhale, slowly coming back down. One more time, slowly lengthen, and then you're gonna reach those arms up. Exhale, everything comes back down. Now, from this position, you're gonna go ahead and grab your strap, and as you lay here, you're gonna grab that strap and wrap it around the arch of your right foot. Now, from this position, you're gonna either walk your left foot a little bit wider, or what you're gonna do from this position is straighten through that left leg. So if you keep the knee bent, it's gonna limit how far you can go in the, in the IT stretch, but truthfully, you shouldn't be going too deep into it. You don't want your hip lifting, okay? So you're gonna have the strap into your right hand, take your left hand to your hip, and anchor the whole left side of your body down. Now, we're gonna inhale here, open the right leg out to the right, and then exhale, slowly pull it back up and then just cross the midline of the body as much as you can breathe into. And then inhale, slowly open it back to the side. 
only to where you can keep that left hip anchored. Exhale, bring it up and over. And then we'll do that just two more times. Inhale, opening up. Exhale, coming back to the center and gently cross that midline. One more time. Inhale, opening up. Exhale, slowly bringing that leg across and you're gonna hold this one here. Breathing deeply. So as you inhale, kick a little more through that right heel and that should heighten the sensation into your right hip in IT. Your IT band is running down the side of your right leg. Remember, this isn't a twist. You wanna keep your hip down. And just take one more breath here. On your next inhale, let's slowly open that right leg to the right, this time allowing it to go down as deep as you can, still with the same rule of keeping the left side of your body anchored. And as you inhale, feel the action of kicking through the right heel, the anchoring through the left side of your body, and as you exhale, just try to soften and release a little bit of that tension. Taking one more deep breath here. And then slowly taking your time, bringing that right leg back to center. Bending the left knee, if it isn't already, you're gonna scoot your hips to the right. So this time you will extend that left leg all the way down. Left hand is gonna grab a hold of the strap. Right arm's gonna reach out. You're gonna start the same, but then you're gonna slowly let that hip lift up. And this time we will explore deeper into that twist. So right shoulder relaxes down, maybe the gaze even follows. And then we'll breathe deeply here for three. Feeling that unraveling through your spine. One more breath. And then inhale, slowly coming back to center. Strap can come back into the right hand and then just pull the toes back. One more breath. And then slowly release the strap, lower that right leg down, and then from that position, just take a pause. Hands can come to belly or by your side. But just noticing how different the right side of your body feels compared to the left. And then you're gonna slowly bend into both knees. We'll now go ahead and repeat that on the other side. So now from here, you're gonna wrap that around the left leg and then right hand to the hip. So again, right leg, you can walk the foot a little wider than the hip or just straighten the right leg down. And then we're gonna inhale. Left leg opens to the left. Exhale, slowly bring it back up and kick it over to the right side, keeping the left hip anchored. Inhale, now focusing on keeping the right hip anchored as the left leg goes out to the side. Exhale, slowly coming back to center. Good, just a few more like that. Inhale, opening up. Exhale, and slowly cross over. Good, inhale, two more. Exhale, and then bring it back to center. One more time, bring it out to the side. And then bring it back to center and then we'll hold it here. Anchoring through that left hip, actively kicking through the heel and then just breathing into that resistance from there. Again, doing it from that place of kindness and care so you're softening and if it's really tense, can you add just a little hint of a smile? Lift your eyebrows a little bit, just lighten up. And then inhale, taking the left leg out to the left, anchoring now through the right side of your body as you just lengthen and stretch through the left. Breathe here for three. One more breath. 
slowly taking your time coming back to center. So bending the right knee if it isn't already. Scooch the hips to the left and then now you will straighten that right leg as we'll take the twist version now. So right hand grabs the strap, left arm reaches out to the left and then you're gonna rinse that out. So this time the hip allow, you allow, I should say, the hip to lift and then maybe the closed eyes fall to the left. Inhale, lengthen a little bit more. That also includes your right leg. Give your low back just a tiny bit more space. Twist a little more. One more breath. And then let's inhale, slowly come back to center. And then we'll go ahead, just bring the straps into the left hand. And then just take a breath breathing into the back of that left leg and then we'll slowly release the strap throw it off to the back so now from this position you're going to take your time hug the knees in towards the chest and then just kind of rock side to side and then from that position what i want you to do is just lengthen your legs up towards the sky if you need a little bend into your knees please do so and separate the feet a hip width apart arms are going to rest by your side for option one or option two you're going to take the hands to the back of the head tuck the chin towards the chest and exhale lift the head so if you lift up i want you to really stay scooping in and we're going to inhale lower that right leg down towards the floor exhale slowly lift it back up and then inhale lower the left leg down so just waking up through that core in a really slow and controlled way and you can hear by that little quiver in my voice like just because it's simple does not make it easy right and the slower we can make the movement the more conscious we can be about keeping ourselves in that scooped position so if you notice as you lower your leg that your back starts to arch up then you want to ease off so that you don't get that action because it means we've lost the connection of our abdominals or at least lost part of it slowly exhale lift back up we're gonna do that three more times inhale lower the left leg exhale slowly lift it back up inhale lower the right exhale slowly coming back up one more time inhale lowering the left exhale slowly coming back up now lift your head a little higher as you bring your legs together and then slowly lower the head back down soften the knees just take a breath in breath out and then lengthen the back of the neck exhale peel yourself up we're going to lengthen those legs keeping them together inhale here lower those legs down exhale slowly lifting yourself back up and again so the goal here is that we maintain that abdominal connection so that as the legs lower you don't lean back so your head should be looking forward this whole time if you want a little bit more challenge you can reach your arms in line with your hips and then start to pull them away from your body as you reach but same rule applies everything stays connected into the center let's do that two more times inhale exhale slowly coming back up one more time inhale and exhale now this time grab the backs of the knees let the head come down just take a breath as you bend the knees now we're gonna tuck the chin towards the chest and you're gonna rock and roll on your spine a few times and then as you do it I want you to slowly now on your next one roll yourself all the way up squeezing the knees together lifting the toes and then seeing if you can reach those arms forward and then maybe just maybe we start to lengthen through those legs maybe it's better to keep the knees bent or use the hands most important part is the length in the spine one more breath here could you lift your heart and breathe into it a little more and then slowly release really good take your hands behind your back press through your palms and your feet and let's just start with a little back bend here opening and expanding into the chest and then as you exhale I want you to just bend your elbows and then round a little bit so just a kind of a version of our cat cow just one more time open and expand the chest exhale just gentle round 
and then on your next inhale start the same open the chest you're welcome to stay here or if it's there for you you're going to start to lift the hips up opening and expanding into the chest as you press and anchor through the feet for three keep breathing deeply here for two one more breath and then you're going to slowly tuck your chin towards your chest and then from here you're going to cross your ankles we're going to make our way into a tabletop position so taking just a couple of breaths moving around and then what i want you to do is as always we give the wrists a little bit of love as we are going to come into our flows now and so that means we're going to be weight bearing so take your time turn your fingertips and you're going to just take a little soft bend into the elbows and then kind of just knead the palms down so lift the wrist and then press it down and then when you feel ready balance so both palms press evenly and then let's just soften the elbows and just do teeny teeny tiny little circles here really good and then we'll go the other way not underestimating the importance of this and then take your time we're going to walk the palms slightly forward and knees slightly back so you want to come into a, a modified version of your plank now from this position we're going to inhale here we're going to lower ourselves down towards a hover and then we're going to exhale press back up we're going to inhale shift the weight back and then exhale slowly coming forward doing that just two more times inhale lower down exhale press back up inhale shift the weight back exhale coming forward one more time inhale lowering down exhale pressing back up inhale shifting the weight back and then exhale coming forward option to go deeper is tucking the toes coming into a full plank we're gonna do three more inhale lower down exhale press back up inhale bend the knees into a down dog and then exhale slowly coming forward into plank inhale lower down exhale press back up inhale big bend into the knees lift into down dog exhale slowly coming forward one more time like that inhale lower exhale lift and then bend the knees and then just lift the hips up towards the sky now just take a moment to like wiggle those hips around a little bit. See if you can get into that nice side body stretch. And then take your time, soften the knees, lift the tailbone up to the sky and then press your palms, just lengthen the sides of your body. Take one more deep breath and then we'll inhale, float forward once again into whatever plank feels strong for you. And then we're gonna exhale, lower all the way down inhale bring the hands a little wider than the mat untuck the toes and lift the head and the chest exhale slowly lower back down this time inhale can you lift the upper body and then lift the hands with it see if you can sweep those arms back and then maybe we even start to add the legs as we lift taking a nice big breath in Good, now as you exhale, can you reach your arms forward and come to a hover with the arms and legs? Inhale, sweeping back up. And again, exhale, arms come forward. Inhale, sweep back up, lift up a little higher. Good, two more, exhale, diving forward. Inhale, sweeping back up. And last one, exhale, diving forward. Inhale, lifting up. Now maybe we can even interlock those fingers. Open and expand the chest a little higher. Just one more breath, lift up more. Breathe more though. And then slowly take your time and then release. Bring your hands by your floating ribs. You choose your plank, so full plank, your thighs are already lifting. Exhale, press up slowly. And then lift your hips up to the sky. So we had a really gentle start today, so we're getting right into it now and we're gonna just do that a little bit more as we finish kind of our, our flow and our core part of the warm up. Let's inhale here. Right leg's gonna lift up to the sky. You're gonna bend your right knee and step to the outside of the right palm. Reach that right arm up to the sky. 
Bring the right hand down, heart forward, and float the right leg back, high plank, knees can be down. Left knee is gonna bend to left elbow, float it back. Right knee to right elbow, float it back, and then lift your hips up to downward facing duck. Left leg lifts up to the sky. Step your left foot forward to the outside of your palm. Left arm's gonna reach to the sky. Bring that left hand down, heart forward. So anchor in, plug in as you float that left leg back. And then right knee bends. Bring it back. Left knee bends. Bring it back. Lift up to down dog. Right leg lifts. We're gonna do that a couple more times. Step that right foot forward. Right arm reaches. Right hand down. Float that right leg back. Plug it in right away. Left knee bends, float it back. Right knee bends, float it back. Head still lifted, lift into that down back. Left leg up, step it forward. Inhale here, left arm up, left hand down. Float it back, right knee bends, kick it back. Keep it controlled. Notice the tendency or temptation to want to rush here. We're going to do one more round, adding a full flow. Right leg lifts up. Step it to the outside of the right palm. Right arm reaches up. Bring it back down. Right leg floats back. And then from here, left knee bends. Bring it back. Right knee bends. Bring it back. Inhale. Exhale, lower slow. Now maybe we come into a full up dog here. Maybe you stick with that cobra and then find your way into downward facing dog. One more here. Left leg lifts. Bend that left knee forward. Left arm comes up, left hand down. Float that left leg back and then right knee to right elbow. Float it back, left knee to left elbow. Float it back, inhale here, exhale lower. Inhale, open up, exhale, and then float it back. Take a nice big deep breath in. Ah, let it be a clearing breath out. Be as dramatic as you need to be or want to be and just let it go. One more breath. Now on your next inhale, you're gonna bend your knees. The option is to step or maybe even play with a little hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, feet hip width apart, lengthen the heart forward, and then exhale, fold forward. So soft little bend into the knees. We're gonna interlock those fingers behind the back. Squeeze the heel of the palms together and open the chest. Now bend your left knee, stick your right hip up and out, and then just open the hands over to the left side as you breathe into that right hip and shoulder. One more breath. And then slowly bending now into the right leg, pushing that left hip up and back, and then just take your hands over to the right side. Looking over that left shoulder, one more breath. And then you're gonna slowly take your time and come into the center, folding forward, tucking the chin to the chest, and then really pressing strongly into those legs. We'll take one more breath here. Good, soft little bend into the knees. We're gonna inhale here, roll ourselves up, keeping the position of the arms. And then from this position, just take a nice big breath. Arms are gonna reach up now, inhaling, lifting tall. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, hands to shins, lengthen your heart forward. And then exhale, planting the palms will step back into a plank if that feels strong for you. Inhale, steady state. Exhale, lower slow. Inhale, opening up. And then exhale, Downward facing dog. Take a nice big deep breath in. Again, let it be a clearing breath out. Notice what you notice as we take these little pauses into the center. Where does your mind try to take you? And don't let anything or anyone or any situation rob you of this well-deserved time for yourself. Come back to your breath, the rest can wait. 
On your next inhale, take that right leg up to the sky. And then we'll bend the right knee, this time stepping in between the palms. You're gonna pivot that left foot and then inhale, open up into your warrior two. So take your time, set that up, and then as you bend into that right knee, resist with your left heel. So we're gonna inhale here. As you exhale, you're gonna reach forward, and then from that position, bring your hand elbow either to knee or hand in front, and then you're gonna reach that left arm up, creating this nice long side bend. Now blocks are fantastic here if you feel like this is not quite working for you, but you would like to go a little deeper than elbow to knee, take the hand underneath your shoulder, or block, excuse me, <laughs> breathe here. Sink just a little bit deeper. Take one more deep breath. And then from this position, block can move out of the way. We're gonna inhale, reverse that warrior now, taking that right arm up to the sky. Sliding deep into that lunge as you resist deeply with that left leg and pushing out with that right knee. One more breath. Really good, and then you're gonna inhale here and just come into your warrior two. So now in its simplicity, again, be really picky about anchoring into those feet so you can lift out of the waist. If we just kinda hang out in this position, you're gonna sink into your feet, and I want you to lift out of the waist. You're gonna feel a different stretch, a different level of intensity. Take one more here. Really good, and then you're gonna slowly straighten through that right leg. Let's pivot the feet so that both feet face in towards one another. Big breath in, inhale, lift up tall. Exhale, soft little bend in the knees. We're gonna fold forward, and then you're gonna bring your hands down to the ground. Now, take a little bend into the knees. Inhale, lengthen the heart forward. Exhale, we're gonna walk the hands in line with the feet, tucking the chin towards the chest. Now press into your legs. Engage your thighs as you tuck your chin towards your chest. Breathing deeply here. Shifting maybe a little bit more weight forward. And then just calming down your breath. For three. For two, one more here. And then on your next inhale, soft little bend into the knees. We're just gonna lengthen the heart forward and then bring your hands to your hips. We're gonna inhale here. And then from this position, we're gonna just open those right toes back to the front wall. You're gonna bend into that right knee, finding maybe a little bit of a deeper stance this time. As long as you find you're not leaning forward, we're gonna open those arms up. Take a nice big deep breath in, and then we're gonna flow a little bit with that breath. Take one more here. We're gonna flip that right hand, so we're gonna reverse it this time. Go reverse warrior first. Exhale, come back to parallel to the floor. And then inhale, reach, elbow to knee, left arm reaches forward. And then exhale, coming back to center. Couple more like that. Inhale, reach that right arm up. Exhale, coming back to warrior two. Inhale, reaching that left arm long. And exhale, coming back one more time. Breathe here, try to keep the depth of that lunge. And then slowly exhale back to center. And then elbow to the knee, left arm reaches forward. And we're gonna hold this one. I'm gonna challenge you to reach that right arm forward. Breathing here for three. Opening up a little bit more for two. Just one more breath. Could you sink a little deeper? And then slowly windmill the arms on either side of your left toes. Take a breath in, and then as slow as you can, float that right leg back, high plank, head up. Exhale, lower, slow. Inhale, opening up. Exhale, coming back to your downward facing dog. Take a big breath in, really good job. Big breath out. One more here. 
Now on your next inhale, taking that left leg up to the sky, we're gonna bend that left knee and step it right in between the palms. Pivot that right foot, inhale, open the arms up. Now take a nice big breath in, exhale, sink as deep as you can while still maintaining the ability to lift out of it. And then you're gonna reach forward. So option is to bring elbow to knee, right arm's gonna reach forward. Or option two is you start to extend that left arm. Maybe you take that block under the left hand to support your ability. The whole point here is that this connection between your arm and your leg really creates that solid, expandable state from that solid foundation. Take one more breath. And then we're gonna inhale, slowly come up. Reversing that warrior as the left arm reaches up to the sky, right hand slides to the back of the right leg. And you're gonna notice really naturally, right? That left thigh wants to lift up. It wants to avoid that uncomfortable feeling that comes with this prolonged lunge. Do your best to sink into it at the same time, lift out of bed. It's finding that sweet spot, the balance in between. And then on your next inhale, let's find our warrior two. Square your body, steady your mind, and take two more breaths, sink a little deeper. One more. And then on your next inhale, we're gonna straighten through that left leg. Bring your hands once again to your hips as you pivot your feet inward. Big breath in, lift up tall, exhale, and then we're gonna slowly just dive forward. This time taking the hands to the outsides of the ankles, pulling the elbows wide, and then tucking the chin to the chest. So press down through your feet as you lift your hips more and then actively pull with those hands. So everything's really strong here and all of it, the strength and the connection and the foundation is to support longer lines in your body, creating more space and more room for that relaxed flow of your breath. Remember, everything can be done better from that relaxed mind. One more here. Good, now on your next inhale, soft little bend into the knees. We're gonna bring the hands to the hips, slowly come all the way up. Now opening those left toes back to the front wall, bending into that left knee, and then we're gonna inhale here, come into a little flow with our warrior. Take a big breath in, sink a little bit deeper as you breathe out. And then we're gonna inhale reverse first, left arm up to the sky. Exhale, coming back to warrior two. Inhale, left arm to left knee, right arm reaches forward. And exhale, come back to your warrior. So ideally, inhale, reach up. Every time you're getting a little bit deeper into the quality of that lunge, exhale. But again, keyword ideally. Sometimes if we pay attention, we're gonna notice that we have to ease off to keep the integrity, right? So you gotta make sure that you're not just sinking into your foundation, but instead, you're pushing away. Now this time, hold as you reach that right arm forward, shoulder slides down your back, and then breathe here and reach that left arm forward. You're not here long, breathe into it. Can you relax into it? Twist and pull that right shoulder, right hip back. One more breath. And then slowly bring your hands down. Well done. Pop that right heel high and float that left leg back, high plank. Exhale, lower. And then inhale, open up. Exhale, and then we're gonna press back. Really good job. So let's take a nice big deep breath in. And big breath out. One more here. Really good. Now option here, again, lift the heels high, bend the knees. You can step or play with a little hop to the top of your mat. Inhale, lift the head and the chest. Exhale, fold. Let's walk those feet a hips width apart if they aren't already. Now we're gonna inhale here, bring the hands to the hips. We're gonna lengthen and lift the spine, coming all the way up. Now from this position, you're gonna pop that right leg high. Right hand on the inside of the knee. 
We're gonna pull and pull the shoulders down your back as you hug the ribs in. Now spread your right toes wide and then start to open that right leg out to the side. Now as you open it to the right, remember when we were on the floor that left hip wanted to lift. So really use the left fingertips to pull it back. When you can feel that hip and glute work to support that, that's when you can start to reach that left arm out to the side, palm can face forward or down, really whatever feels natural for you, as long as the positioning helps you slide your shoulder down your back. Now look to the left, breathe deeply here. And then on your next inhale, I want you to hold that, reach your right arm out to the right. One more breath. And then bring your gaze back to the center. Keep your arms there as you bring your right knee back to the center. And then hug the ribs in as you slowly twist to the right. And then here, left hand grabs the outer edge of the right knee, right knee presses into it and you lift taller. Now keep that left hip and glute working to pull that hip back and then start to challenge yourself to look to the right. And then you breathe here. As you inhale, lift a little bit taller. Exhale, open a little bit more. One more breath. And then slowly take your time, come back to the center. Hands to the heart, exhale, kick that right leg forward, and then you'll slowly lower down. Inhale here, a little flow in between, arms reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, hands to shins, lengthen the heart forward. Exhale, planting the palms, we step back into that high plank. Now, from here, what you're gonna do is zip your feet together. We're gonna pivot to the outer edge of the right foot. Make sure that left foot is not coming over top of the right. So if so, bring your right knee down or just your left foot in front of the right. Perfectly fine, left arm's gonna reach up. So you could be here, you could have both feet touching, or you could bring your right knee down. Just listen to your body and support what you can to lift out of it. One more breath. Slowly draw your gaze down, inhale, heart forward, and then exhale, we flow. Inhale, anchoring through both feet before you initiate that back bend. Exhale, downward facing back. Take a big breath, big exhale out. Bend your knees a lot, gaze forward, step or hop your feet to the top of the mat. Lift the head and the chest and then exhale, fold. Feet hip width apart, arms reach up to the sky. We take a big breath in, exhale, hands to your heart. Now popping that left heel high, lift that left leg up. And then from here, right hand to the hip, left hand on the inner edge of the knee. So again, just like we did in that lunge, connect more to your core. As you open that left knee, create some resistance between the two. Pull that right hip back. When you feel that hip and glute working, that's when you can open that right arm. Breathe here and then start to challenge that balance as you look to the right. Lift up tall and breathe way more. On your next inhale, you're gonna reach your left arm out to the left. Take one more breath here. And then slowly bring your gaze forward. Bring your left knee forward, take a big breath in. Hug the belly button, hug the ribs, and slowly twist to the left. Right hand grabs the outer edge of the knee, and then you're gonna resist that. Look to the left, and just trust yourself. Doesn't mean it's gonna be perfect. The point is we don't let that limiting voice in our mind hold us back from exploring what we're really capable of. One more breath. And then we slowly take our time, come back to the center. Hands to your heart, take a big breath in with me and exhale, kick that left leg forward. And then we'll slowly lower. Again, inhale, arms reach up to the sky, big breath. Exhale, folding forward. And then inhale, hands to shins, lengthen the heart forward. And then exhale, plant your palms, step back into your high plank position. So again, bring your feet together. And then as you pivot to the outer edge of the foot, left foot, excuse me, 
Use both hands to push your hips high, and then right arm starts to reach up. So both feet should be stacked. If your right hip goes lower than the, or right foot, excuse me, goes lower than the left, then you're gonna be dipping into those hips. You wanna really engage that left oblique. Look up. One more breath. And then on your inhale, we're gonna lengthen the heart forward. Big breath. Exhale, lower. Inhale, open up. And then exhale, downward facing dock. Take a breath. Two more here. One more. And then bend into the knees, gaze forward. You're gonna step or hop your feet, lifting the head and the chest as you lengthen your spine. And then exhale, fold forward. Soft little bend into the knees. Arms are gonna reach up to the sky. Once again, feet hip width apart if they aren't already. Inhale here, second set as you lift your right leg. You're gonna take your right hand on the inside of the knee or reach down, try to lift the foot up and grab the outer edge of your foot. Left hand to the hip and then you're gonna open that up. And then you're gonna breathe here as you lift taller. Left arm's gonna reach to the left and then you're gonna trust yourself to look to the left. Breathe here and just keep expanding. As you kick through your right leg, you wanna anchor through your left leg more. One more breath. And then slowly taking your right leg back to the front. This time seeing if you can bring your left hand over top of the ankle, grab the outer edge of the foot and lift tall. Right arm's gonna reach back. And then as you lift tall, start to shift your gaze to the right and then shoulder relaxes down. Breathe here. One more breath. And then slowly, maybe not slowly, maybe wobbly, come back to center and see your heart and we'll kick that leg forward. And then lower, just a little half flow here. Arms are gonna reach up. Actually, we're gonna go for it. We're gonna fold forward. We're gonna inhale. Halfway lift, lengthen the heart forward. So home stretch of our flows, my friend. Now this time, as you step your feet back, we're gonna pivot to the outer edge of your left foot and then reach that right arm up to the sky. Now we're gonna do the exact same thing. Bend into that right knee. See if you can bring that right knee, hand on the inside or grab the outer edge of the foot and kick up high. Breathe here for three, two, and one. Slowly release, inhale, heart forward. Exhale, lower slow. Inhale, open up. Exhale, downward dog. Take a breath, let go of what you need. You have one more in standing. And then on your next inhale, bend the knees, gaze forward, step or hop your feet to the top of the mat. Lift the head and the chest, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold. Now soft bend into the knees. Arms are gonna reach up to the sky, big breath. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. And just refocus. Lift the left leg. And then from this position, you're gonna take the left hand on the inside of the knee, perhaps start to lift that a little higher. And you reach down a little bit, but make sure that you're really using the strength of your hip. The less we have to lean down, the more we have to counter that, right? To, to lift up, that was kind of opposite, but hopefully you got my drift. Right hand to the hip, kick the left leg up. And then slowly breathe. The side's gonna be different. And then right arm reaches out. Lift up taller as you inhale, keep expanding and then start to look to the right as you keep breathing and lifting. One more breath. And then you're gonna slowly take that left leg forward. Right hand comes on the outer edge of the foot and then you're gonna lift up tall first 
and then left arm is going to reach out. You're going to trust yourself to look to the left and then just breathe into that. Inhale, lift a little taller. Exhale, open a little more. One more breath. And then slowly take your time. And then from here, we'll bring the hands back to the heart. Lift up tall, this is it. As we exhale, kick that left leg forward and then slowly lower. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, hands to shins as you lengthen the heart forward. And then exhale, plant your palms. Step back into your high plank, zipping those feet together, and then pivot to the right foot. Inhale here, left arm reaches, lift up high. And then maybe we play with lifting that left leg up. Hand can come to knee or hand can grab the outer edge of the foot. And you're gonna kick up and breathe for three, two, one more breath, lift a little higher. And then slowly take your time and let's come into our high plank. Exhale, lower, and then inhale, open up. Exhale, downward dog. Take a breath. Big exhale out. And then just slowly drop your knees down to the ground. Take a wide-legged child's pose and then just rest. Rock your forehead side to side, just massaging out that forehead and brain and everything going on in there that's maybe, you know, giving yourself a little, a little bit of resistance here. Whatever chatter is going on in your mind, if it's anything but positive, let it go. You're still here. It's so good. Be proud of that. If you got wobbly, be proud of that too, that you weren't, you know, letting perfection hold you back from this experience of learning and, and really growing into what your body is capable of. Nothing's perfect as we learn and go, right? So you just want to notice, settle into the center. What the natural reaction is of your mind how you talk and encourage yourself or worse, punish yourself, right? Take one more deep breath. And then as you inhale, we're gonna slowly take our time. We're gonna lengthen the heart forward. And then we're just gonna kick the heels out to one side. Make your way at the top of the mat. And then from that position, we're going to extend the legs straight out in front. And then you're gonna wiggle the sit bones down into the mat. We're gonna inhale, arms are gonna reach up towards the sky. Take a really big breath in, and then you're gonna slowly reach forward. Maybe you grab the outer edges of the feet, ankles or shins, maybe you use your strap, whatever you need to get this ability to just use your grip to lengthen the spine. Then let the head get heavy. We kind of tend to rush our way through these things and, and we really just focus on that end point and it's really about how we're creating that journey to get into it. Breathe deeply here. Setting ourselves up for success. Sustainability kindness along the way. One more breath here. And then we're going to inhale and slowly roll ourselves all the way up. You're going to reach your arms forward first. I apologize. Bring those blocks back with you and then reach your arms forward. Now you can bend into the knees perfectly fine if the back feels a little tight or you can keep those legs straight. It's up to you. Big breath in and then we're going to tuck that tailbone and then slowly lower ourselves down. Shoulders are going to relax and you're going to breathe here all the way. And then once your head comes down to the mat, we're going to bend into both knees 
and then kind of just imagine here like a, an upside down child's pose. So just bring the knees wide and then let that settle into your body. Then you're gonna take your time. We're gonna finish here with a happy baby, bringing the hands to the outer edges of the feet. Now keep the feet together or towards one another, I should say, and feel your low back really long. And then feel the belly button scoop in to support that and then start to pull the feet away. And then notice what feels good for you. Maybe rock a little bit side to side. Whatever supports your ability to feel good Good in this posture. Allow yourself just two more breaths. And then once you've settled into the center, take one more here. And then you're going to slowly take your time and bring the feet together. Release the feet down to the ground, and then one more time, open those arms like a T and just stagger the knees to the right. Inhale, come back to center, and stagger them over to the left. Inhale, come back to center. Grab a hold of your blocks, tuck your chin to your chest, and then just slowly Bring the blocks to the backs of the knees. Palms are gonna flip up, and you're gonna be really picky about how comfortable you allow yourself to get here. Letting your awareness just slowly drift so that no matter what it is that comes up, you just come back to your breath. You don't let it affect you in any way. You don't let it rob you of this well-deserved time to just rest and anchor into this ability of really, really doing nothing. And it is work to get to that point. We get ourselves so wound up. So if you find that your mind is racing, really work with this even more because I promise all need this time to slow down, to decelerate, to rest, and to heal. So just breathe for one more moment here, and I'll call you back. One more breath like this. And very slowly and gently take your time as you wiggle through your fingers, wiggle through your toes. And then just slowly start to draw your legs so they come together and then the arms are gonna reach up. Just hug your knees into your chest. Rock really gently side to side. And then when you feel balanced within that, you can take your time and curl over onto your side. Just move whatever you need to out of your way. And then you're going to take your time and push yourself all the way up. And then sit up tall with me. Close the eyes.
bring your hands to your heart and then just take a moment to just really notice how you feel after taking a full hour to yourself to move to explore to grow and to love so thank yourself really thank your body for what you just did too namaste I hope you feel great and I hope the rest of your day goes even better. See you soon, I hope.